Hi and welcome to another Holistic 3D YouTube tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at creating a procedural walk cycle and that's going to be using the Unity Animation Rigging Package. Remember if you're enjoying these tutorials help support the channel by subscribing, liking and ringing that bell. And as always Patreon subscribers will receive full access to the Unity project created here. Let's start by taking a look at a walk cycle. A walk cycle is something that animators create and it's the cycle in which you create like a seamless animation that goes from one frame through a series of frame to another one such that the ends can go together and it's pretty much like a seamless texture you know you get a texture and you can tile it together and you can't actually see where the seams are or you get a loop in an audio which will just apparently play forever and ever even though it's a tiny little one. Well a walk cycle is exactly the same and we use walk cycles all the time with computer game characters because it doesn't make any sense to generate an entire game's worth of walking. Now these cycles were first used in cartoons. An artist called Preston Blair who worked for Disney and MGM documented these cycles for different actions and you can find the illustrations and his books if you google his name. These references were used back when animations were painstakingly hand drawn one frame at a time in a process called cell animation. While each keyframe in these drawings is quite informative, because we are using mathematics to generate the frames, we are more interested in one particular nature of each of these, and that is the curves that are formed. So this video is actually going to show you how to do that using mathematics and to procedurally generate that where you don't have to use an animation package per se to create it. The first thing that you're going to need is a character. Now since it's Halloween when I'm putting this video out I thought a zombie as always because I use a lot of zombies in my videos is probably very apt. So I've come to Mixamo.com and I found this lovely little fellow here. He's got a shoe stuck in his head and he'll do quite nicely. Now I like to use Mixamo because the characters are quite uh, high quality. It's also free to use and to download and if you want animations you can get those animations too. Of course we don't, we just want the character. So go to Mixamo.com, log in, go to the characters tab, find somebody that you like. Now this is going to be a very very simple sort of beginner's walk cycle and it's going to look much better if it's on a character that's a little bit goofy and non-realistic. That's why I've picked this guy. We want to download him so we click on the download button and then in the format make sure you select FBX for Unity. Okay so let's download that and I will see you in a moment in Unity. Right so we're in a brand new Unity project here. Now I'm using Unity 2022.3 and any version around that should be fine or greater than that. We first of all need to get hold of our package. So go to the package manager under windows we're going to have a look for packages in the Unity registry and we're going to type in animation over here. The one that you want to get is animation rigging, that one. Okay, so let's install that. Okay, then once that has installed, at the top you'll see in your main menu an animation rigging option to select later on. Okay, so I'm going to first of all begin by bringing in my character that I just got from Mixamo. So let's just drag and drop that into our project. Okay, so here he is here. And let's then grab him and drag him into the scene so that we can see him. And then we will just double click to zoom in on that. You might find that the materials haven't come through with it so if you'd like to see them you want to go into your assets where you've got that particular game object and we're going to find the materials in it so just select it and over in the inspector there's a materials tab select that we want to extract the textures there's an actual button to do that just put them at the default location and you will have your materials you'll also get a message saying that you possibly need to update your normal maps um, so just go fix now and that will fix it for you and there will be your character. Okay so the other thing we also need to do and I notice I've just got a little null reference down here from doing that process we'll just clear that out of the way. 
we want a ground plane to walk on so let's right click in our hierarchy and we're going to go 3d object plane and we'll put that there we want him to be standing on that plane so i'm just going to move it down to his feet at the same time it probably needs to be a little bit bigger so we will just press the r key while it's selected which will bring up our resizing option and make it bigger like that. I'm going to quickly make a material and put it on here so that it's not so bright on the video. So let's just call it black. Drag and drop that black onto there and let's just make it black or a quite dark color like that. Okay, now at the same time, we're going to set up our camera so that it's kind of watching what he's doing. So the camera in this case select it. Now you want to, in the scene, just manipulate your view around. If you want your camera to be sort of maybe like that, let's just move him back here. Then select the camera and go game object align with view. This is something I use all of the time to align my camera in the game window. Also, I'm just going to turn off low resolution so that you can see that a little bit crisper. Okay, now I've just packed my materials and that away into a folder so they're sort of out of the road. The next thing we're going to actually do is to take a look at our character's rig. Now the rig is the bone structure that exists inside of our character. With a rigged character that you download from somewhere like Mixamo or Turbo Squid, it's going to have what are called bones. And it's basically the same thing as our own human bodies. We have a hierarchy of bones where they're all sort of connected to each other. I'm not going to give you a rendition of the song, but you know how it goes. Okay, so in here, if we have a look at the Mixamo version of a rig, you'll find that there's a left up leg, a right up leg, and a spine component. The spine is basically, and if we can just find where that is in here by hitting W, you can see that the spine point is pretty much right there. The left leg is going to be at the top of the left leg there. These are the, the transforms for it. And the right leg is there. Now, because of the hierarchy structure of this, and we know from using transforms that are childed in Unity or anything, is if you move something higher up the list, then anything further down moves with it. So if I grab this left leg and actually sort of move it out to the side here, which is not what you do in an animation, notice how the rest of it all sort of goes with it because it's in that hierarchy rig structure. And animators make use of that and we're going to use that as well in a process called inverse kinematics. And we'll come back in the next video and have a look at what that is. Let's first add some bones that we can see onto our character. So we're going to just roll up those rigs. We're going to select the main character. We're going to come over to animation rigging and then we want bone renderer setup from the main menu. You will instantly see the bone structure or the rig and you can see how it looks basically skeletal in nature, just like our own skeleton. So with that in place, I'll leave this video here and I will see you in the next one when we'll start exploring inverse kinematics. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and you can find us at holistic3d.com, take our full courses at h3dlearn.com and support us on Patreon.